DVD recently had its first temporary new game mode, Lights Out. Now, I don't want to make a video tearing that mode apart and talking about everything that was wrong with it. I'm really happy that Behavior is experimenting with these different modifiers, and hopefully it leads to a place where a really new fun game mode can be implemented permanently. However, I can't help but notice how the design of Lights Out is a perfect reflection of Behavior's flawed design philosophy with Dead by Daylight. Essentially hide every problem we possibly can about the game and only address things that can't be swept under the rug. In Lights Out, everything is basically hidden from the player. You can't see generator progress, how many gens are finished, healing progress, etc. Yet all of the glaring balance issues with the game are still present and even exaggerated in this game mode. Now, it's possible all of these elements were hidden because Behavior thought it made sense and fit the theme of Lights Out. However, I'm going to be a bit more conspiratorial here and say they hid all of these elements on purpose because they believed that it would make the game mode play less competitively. I think their mindset was, you know, if killers can't see how many gens are left, then they won't feel so pressured to tunnel, camp, and slug. And if survivors don't have the solo queue HUD to show them what their teammates are doing, they won't be so efficient. Consider it, did removing any of these HUD elements really have any other intended impact on the game mode besides attempting to make it less competitive? If they were all still there, would it have changed anything in Lights Out? I don't think so. And the competitiveness of the DVD community made the entire game mode implode regardless. Almost every match I played involved full throttle competitive gameplay, tunneling, proxy camping, gen rushing, slugging, you name it. Hiding information from the players did not accomplish anything. It's just, if you look back at DBD's lifespan over the last eight years, Lights Out is really a perfect paradigm for how behavior addresses problem points they don't want to deal with directly or maybe don't know how to deal with. It's always hide things we don't want players to see, hide information, hide, hide, hide. For example, behavior refusing to show who's in a survive with friends after a match is already over, which is mostly harmless but they want to hide the imbalance of it. And you might say, well, they have to hide it because if they don't hide who's in a survive with friends, then the killers will be more toxic in the endgame chat. And no, if the killer is going to be toxic in the endgame chat, they're going to be toxic regardless. This might only change the subject matter of that toxicity. But let's look at more examples. Replacing the rank system with skill-based matchmaking and then hiding everyone's MMR. Everything we know about MMR now comes from data miners and hacking groups. This new MMR system came with grades, but those were also causing problems even though they didn't mean anything, so now they hide those as well too. Soon they'll probably hide prestige levels as well. It's this padded room approach where they're trying to reduce toxicity, frustration, and protect themselves by hiding information, but just like Lights Out, it doesn't actually change anything except leaving players in the dark. Even when it comes to combating cheating, they prioritize going after very specific, very noticeable blatant hacks over software detection, meaning subtle cheaters are able to exist within the game for a lot longer than they should be able to, but for behavior, subtle cheaters are not as much of a problem because, well, nobody really notices them, so it's not such a big deal. Just sweep it under the rug. Another aspect of Lights Out that reflects back on DVD is all of Behavior's Band-Aid fixes with perks over the years. They have, I think, started to realize that perks are not an effective long-term solution to core game issues, which is really good. The anti-camp feature, base kid borrow time, the solo queue HUD, and the anti 3 gen mechanic, most of which are good changes for sure, but Lights Out really highlights how many core issues still exist, and also just how much of the balance of the game still relies on perks. For instance, if you noticed, every core feature I just mentioned was pro survivor. They've made no substantial core changes to reward killers for playing in more fun ways, meaning certain perks and playstyles are still offering enormous advantages. Now, Lights Out didn't alter anyone MMR, but it did use their MMR to find matches, so it's no surprise that the mode turned into a sweat fest instantly. But it goes back to this point that I've been trying to push for a long time now, 
which is that the longer SBMM is in the game, the more competitive the community will irreversibly become. If SBMM is in the game for five years, requiring every player to either uninstall the game because they can't handle it, or become a roided out psychopathic tryhard pushing every gameplay element to the max in order to win in an ultra sweat environment, you can't just turn off SBMM and think, the players are just going to go back to having more chill matches overnight. They're still going to play like hyper sweats because they've been conditioned to. So they have to solve this issue as soon as possible to limit the extent of the permanent damage to their casual player base. Also, if you enjoy hyper sweat matches, that's totally fine. But the majority of DBD players want to have more variety and chiller matches, which Unironically, testing out new game modes like Lights Out is the best solution to that problem because if they stumble across a game mode that really appeals to players wanting a more casual or at least less sweaty experience, then the core mode we have now will sort of become the ranked mode or the competitive mode, and then the new game mode will be more of the casual mode. Again, if there's a primary point to this video, it's basically just that hiding problems does not make them go away and putting a bandaid on a problem does not last forever. Hopefully behavior is more understanding of this now and they continue to tackle problems directly at their core. This facade of trying to hide MMR grades, survive with friends, prestiges, it doesn't make the game any less competitive and in fact, it might actually do the opposite because everyone thinks every match they're playing is a 2000 plus high MMR survive with friends ultra death match when it's obviously not. So not a super long video, but I just wanted to point out all of the parallels between Lights Out and DVD's design flaws over the last eight years. If they ever want to bring the Lights Out modifier back, then I'll be happy to make a full video on what they should change about it. But for now, I'm just looking forward to the next modifier in March. Speaking of which, what do you guys think it is or what do you hope it is? Let me know. And as always, thanks for watching and have a good one.